Right, guys, we are back. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, the network down at the I Series is uh, playing up uh, at the moment. But if you just joined us, of course, this is the first semi-final of the I Series uh, I Forty Five FIFA Twelve tournament between Chris Bullard and Tom Stokes. Afterwards, after this uh, semi-final, we'll have uh, Adam Winston versus Dimitri. How do you say it? I, I keep saying it. It's, it's fine, Dimitri Anastasiu. Anastasiu. I must remember that Anastasiu. Of course. It, as well, this is still this is the uh, first game, and we're at two two at right now. So, it's, it's, again, it's, it's going to be it's all to play for in the second game. Yeah, it's uh, still two two, and then every time someone scored, the games come open a bit, which has allowed it to get the game be equalised. So Bullard went two one up, the game got open, and then Stones equalised, and it's been like that through the whole way. As soon as one go goal goes in, gets a bit open up, and here's Bullard on the goal. Wow. Wow, Pato again with the goal for Chris Bullard being the key figure for his team right now. So 3-2 at the moment. Uh, again, this is, this is, is this extra time? Uh, yeah, this is extra time. First half of extra time. Um, Bullard just scored with a good few skill dribbles and then passed to Pato who found some space and finesse shot in. Now this is full stern. Tom Stokes to go ultra attacking because there's not that much time in extra time and he has to find the goal quick before he loses the first game. Of course, only uh, 15 minutes each way of FIFA time, probably about two minutes of uh, normal time. So it's a lot to do for now. Right now, we're coming up to the end of the uh, first half extra time and Bullard will go for another try, this time with Ramirez. That left foot of Ramirez uh, is very, very powerful, but not, not the best of accuracy. Yeah, Ramirez is not naturally left footed, but seems that Bullard has the upper hand in the extra time so far and that's why he's got the lead and there's not long left now in the first game but Stokes with a cross great goal Stokes equalizes 3-3 free free Higuain header again another back and forth is as soon as Chris Bullard uh, scores Tom sees a way to uh, equal the, equalize the score and now we are at three or all in this first semi-final game between Chris Bullard and Tom Stokes uh, coming up just to the end of first half extra time of course, my name is R2K. I'm from Team Dictus. I'm commentating on this uh, tournament, well, along with uh, Dimitri as well, who's going to be in the second semi-final. Chris Bullard has the penalty. He goes for a shot, and it's well saved by Tom Stokes. Brilliant save there by Tom Stokes. Yeah, that was a great save. The way Bullard got that penalty in the first place, if I can spot, is Tom's player was down injured, so he was keeping every single player on side. And then Ronaldinho obviously cut in the box and got barged on the floor. That's a new system to FIFA 12, is a... Uh, player impact engine when you collide it's a bit weird and they give away silly penalties as it just showed there and then but Tom Stokes guessed right on Bullard's penalty and saved it and the scores remain 3-3. Free free. Are you telling me about the player impact system I was playing against uh, oh bear was a second as you can probably hear there's an announcement going about the internet problems here at the i-series please bear with us So apologies for that. Uh, of course, there's announcements going around saying the internet is down. Of course, it has been a bit flimsy today, unfortunately. But uh, multiplayer are on uh, are on track to try and repair it as best they can. But as we get back into this uh, semi-final, it's a great save there by Tom Stokes. Of course, we come into the uh, second half as well. A three all. It's all to play for right now. Yeah, just as that announcement was going on as well, Tom Stokes skilled dribble down the line with Cristiano Ronaldo and cut in the box. And he crossed it to Benzema, who headed it against the post. So, a bit of a let-off for Chris Bullard there, as it should have been a goal. But now, Chris Bullard is through one-on-one. -on -one. The keepers come out, and Ronaldinho, oh, great save by Casillas, which prevents it going 4-3 to Chris Bullard, and only a corner to show for it. As we see now, though, Chris will whip in the cross. He, oh, unfortunately, it's great defending there by uh, Tom there. Chris didn't get what he wanted from that. But now, Tom will be on the counter attack. No! Made that, made that uh, a good tackle there by Chris. Here we go, Chris will get the crossing. No, it's a great defence there by Tom. Back and forth once more. We are only three minutes into the FIFA time. 
Three minutes left into for second half extra time. Tubbs trying to chase that ball down as best he can, but he can't get near. And Chris will keep the ball. <coughs> this looks like it's going to go to a penalty situation. Well, it does look like it. It's only it's on the 120th minute now. And it looks like it might be one minute added time as always. Depends what the... Or no minutes added time. That was probably the last chance of the game as Bullard gets it up. Just passing it around the back. And he gets it up. And we're at penalty shootouts. We are indeed at penalty shootouts, ladies and gentlemen. If you've just joined us. This is the first game. This is actually the first game of the best of three. Between Chris Bullard and Tom Stokes. <coughs> and I wish I had a camera right now. But if you could see this, it's quite funny. For me, anyway. You've got Tom Stokes who's actually put his jumper over his hands and he covered his control pad. What, what, why do this? It's just to um, show so the other player can't see where he's going on the penalties because you can clearly look at the, bottom, the corner of your eye and you can see where he's going and that might prevent you saving the penalty. And then this is also a close game. It showed the stats at the end of the game. Both had nine shots, both had seven on target, both had 50% possession. Nothing really to separate these lot, so it's gone to penalties. I guess Chris will do actually the same with his dig this hoodie right now. So <coughs> we are just waiting for both uh, players to actually choose who's going to go up first for their teams. Here we go then. So <coughs> Tom will be the first penalty taker for his team. And it's always oh, straight. Nearly a save there by Chris. Yeah, nearly a save, but the keeper went down low and Tom went right middle. And now it's Bullard with the penalty. Oh, send the keeper the wrong way. 1-1 one, one on penalties after one penalty. And Alonso to take the second penalty for Stokes. Oh, again, the keeper went the right way, but then decided to dive the opposite way. This is Bullard's second penalty now, and Rubinho to take it. Oh, Casillas going down low as it goes just above him. 2-2 two, two on penalties after two penalties. And the third penalty, Higuain to take. And yet again, the same outcome. The keeper's gone low and the player's gone right high. It's Pato to take the third penalty for Bullard. Great save. Went down the middle and Tom guessed it right. 3-2 to Tom after three penalties. Di Maria to take the fourth. Oh, yet again, the same outcome. Keeper went down low and Tom's gone the right way as the keeper, but got just gone above him. Great goal, great penalty by um, Bullard, send it high where the keeper couldn't reach it. If Tom scores this, he's won the first game and Marcelo to take it. Uh, Tom's won the first game, really good penalty shootout. Unfortunately, only one penalty separated that onto game two, one nil to Tom Stokes. So there you have it, game one will go to Tom Stokes in this best of three between uh, Tom, of course, and Chris. This is determine who will go into the grand final. And the winner of that will play the winner of the next semi-final, which will be after and on stream, of course, between Adam Winster and Dimitri Anastasiou. Is it? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I've got it, finally. I must remember that. Okay, so we are going to go into the second game straight away. Or perhaps a team change. Yeah. Um, they just returned to Arena, so maybe Chris Bullard wants to change his team. Or Tom Stokes wants to change his team. We'll see right now. No, they've both kept it the same, so maybe a change of formation. Going to team management. So let's keep an eye on the, uh, the formations that we get here. So, 4 2 3 1 here for Tom. And as well, the same for uh, for Chris as well. So, again, what is this, is this perhaps the best formation in FIFA that most pro players use? You could say it's the best that most players people use but it's also a very defensive formation so people don't get caught out on the counter-attack there's obviously two center defensive mid sitting in front of the back four so when one player attacks one sits back so it's like five at the back and then when the other person counter attacks there's always that extra man to help defend so it's always harder to break down so here we go uh, Chris is just doing his custom tactics right now uh, Tom's already they've all got their mp3s up and ready if you are on the uh, Twitch chat, by the way, please do uh, retweet. Please do tell people that we are streaming this game, of course. I know we've had a bit of uh, internet problems, but it'd be nice to get back most of you guys. Uh, 
Mr. Witt has just gave, uh, given me uh, an update on the FA Cup final. It is 28 minutes just gone. 1 0 to Chelsea. Of course, Romero scored in the 11th minute of the game. So, currently, we're just waiting for both teams, uh, both players to uh, ready up. Here we go then. So, we are into the second game. If Tom does win this, he will proceed to the grand final. However, if Chris does win the second game, we will go for a third game to see who will actually go to the grand final. So, all for Chris to do right now as he is behind. And, of course, all to do for Tom because he, he wants to get in the grand final. I mean, last I series, he was, he is actually I-44 yeah. winner. So, Really, he is defending champion for iSeries currently. Yeah, he is the defending champion, so maybe that's added pressure on him. Who knows? Only he knows. And then this is, uh, again, he's 1-0 one up, one game away from the final, so he might take his foot off the gas and relax, and that might cause him to lose. But if he can keep up the momentum and Bullard does the same, you can expect another close game. And I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to extra time or even penalties again. So here we go then, we are, we are in the first few minutes and Tom has the possession, he's doing a lot of skill moves now, he gets past, he'll go for the goal, it's a beautiful finish there by Tom Stokes there. Wow, just out of nowhere, Good. lots of skill moves there with the uh, with the 12 and everything yeah. like that. Just made me eat my words saying that there's no pressure on him now, he's shown it, he's doing a lot of skills and he beat a few players with Ronaldo, cut back onto his right foot and finessed it into the corner. And Stokes has taken an early lead, it's now 1-0 up against Chris Bullard. But Bullard on the attack, 1-1, one -on -one, and gets a rebound, 1-1, one -one. great goal. Unbelievable start to the second game as both players have got scored goals in under 10 minutes of FIFA time. Wow, this again, again they're not holding back again, they, they both want to win it of course. Yeah, again, as soon as someone scored, the game and the defence opens up and they allowed it for a quick e equaliser. And Tom only held the lead for three minutes, so Chris Bullard's right back in the game and doesn't have to rush now because he has plenty of time and the game's equal again. Tom trying to skill dribble, but too many Brazilian defenders. And Chris Bullard going to counter attack. He's played it through to Neymar. Ooh, great defending by Sergio Ramos. Plays it out nicely, got a lot of space. But early pressure again. But he's passed his way out of it. Stokes has played it over the top to Benzema. Offside calls, but nothing's been given. Benzema in the box. Great defending by Chris again, forcing him out of the box. Look how many yellow shirts are back. This is the 4 2 3 formation, showing it. The four defenders and the two centre defensive mids, which is very hard to get past. Such a wayward shot there by uh, Tom right there. But of course, uh, both players are using the 4 2 3 1 formation. Uh, for each team so it, it, show, it shows you how uh, good it can be defensively and attacking but here we go with Tom he'll shoot and he'll score straight away again Ronaldo such a beast of this game he's, such, he's got a lot of uh, stats against him yeah he's got probably one of the he's got the best traits on the game and he's in fact the best player on the game he may not be the best player in real life but on the game is different and that shows outpacing a few centre backs of the Brazil team and then Blasting the shot into the bottom corner and giving him the lead again in this game. So, of course, we are 2-1 uh, up for Top Stokes in the second game. Of course, he is currently in the lead and in uh, the in like, in line to go to the grand final. But it's all for Chris to do now. He'll get the uh, through ball over the top and it will be well defended there. Good pass back by Tob to his goalkeeper. Tob will get out to the wings. Tob has been mostly going through the centre more than he does the wings, uh, Dimitri. Yeah, um, there's a lot of centre attacking mids and right attacking mid, left attacking mid when you play 4 2 3 1. So it's often best to play through the middle. The only problem with that is your opponent could be playing the same formation and then it's obviously hard to get down the middle. And now Bullard's opted for a different option to go down the wing. And he's created a chance, got the rebound from the save, and yet, yet again, Pato gets his second goal of the game, equaliser, and Bullard's yet again level. So yeah, so it's 2-2 now for Chris Bullard. Great comeback now. Again, no nobody's letting up in this game. They are they are in it to win it. Of course, this is their this is probably Chris Bullard's last chance if he loses this game, of course. Um if he loses, of course, he's out, he will go into the third place decider. Yeah. 
Uh, there, there is actually a third place decider. I did not know about that until now. But uh, nevertheless, he's still there to win. But as you can see, Tom has taken a lot of possession right now. He goes through the centre. He will pass to Ronaldo. Oh, Ren again, Ronaldo, he's got pass. He'll give you a smashing shot. Wow! Usually, I don't see many people miss Ronaldo by that far. Yeah, uh, yet again, the skill dribble making him go around the player and then through on goal. Usually, everyone would just run and finesse that into the corner which would be a 100% goal but Tom opted for a power shot and it's gone a few yards wide and now Chris on the counter attack with Pato but well defended by Tom this is like a repeat of last game where Bullard kept taking the lead and Tom equalising but it's the other way around now Tom's taking the lead but Bullard equalising just shows how good these players are and how close the game is I hope your second semi-final lives up to this game because it, it seems to be one of the best semi-finals I've seen so far in, in recent FIFA tournaments. Yeah, this is a cracking semi-final and well, it's going to be hard to live up to. We just have to see what happens in the next semi-final against me and Adam. But I'm sure whatever happens, it will be a great game for the viewers to watch. Bullard on the ball. Plays it over the top to Danny Alves. He chests it down. Great position for Chris. Crosses it in. Ooh, just fluffed ahead of Pato, but he gets it. And yet again, gets the rebounds from close range, which is always good. And Neymar puts Bullard 3 2 in front. What on earth was Tom doing there? He looks like he tried to head the ball back in or yeah. clear it. But again, it, it, it fell for Chris's uh, fell for Chris's look there and then scores a goal. So now we've got Chris in the lead. It's 3 2 with just five minutes of FIFA time left. So now it's all for Tom to do if he wants to get to that grand final going to have to work hard to get the equalising goal again. We've seen him do it in the first game, but this is different. And great save by Julio Cesar. Oh, and yet again, another player getting a rebound and Tom equalising three minutes later. This is turning to be a wild game again. 3-3 again. Um, th the first game was 3-3 before he went into penalties. Yeah. And now this one is the 3-3 already. And it's not even the first half, not even the second half yet. But here we go with Tom running down with Ronaldo, down the wing. He passes to Benzema and whoa, whoa, what the hell. That was a great run by Ronaldo and he gave him a through ball to Benzema and it looks like Tom just passed it to the keeper. Maybe a bit of nerves starting to creep in for him. And Bullard played it through but he's given offside. Yep, and that was a great chance for Tom but maybe nerves are there. That's why it makes mistakes. It is indeed. Uh, of course, any game of this sort of... Uh, integrity of this skill level will make the best the players have the nerves uh, showing but when you look at the faces I mean of course we ain't got a camera unfortunately but you look at the faces they are really focused right now <coughs> but as we come back into the get excuse, excuse me yeah the players are 100% concentrated and I think if you bang a drum next to their ears they wouldn't be able to hear it that's how concentrated they are in the game and we're at half time 3-3 Straight again, we're going into the second half, no subs. Kept the same formation. Chris Bullard is Brazil, Tom Stokes is Real Madrid, and they're both using 4 2 3 1. <coughs> Sorry about that, I, I've, uh, I nearly died of choking from uh, stuff there, but nevertheless, Chris had a good chance there. Gets it back in, oh, it's offside. Romero's just offside. So here we go, into the second half, of course. As Dimitri has just said, uh, all the tactics, uh, who the teams are playing. Chris has gained most of the possession early into the second half. Oh, it's a good shot there. A good low shot, but uh, unfortunately saved there by uh, Top Stokes. Another chance for Bullard in the second half already. Looks like he's come out in this half playing a bit better. It is all about just that little bit of great skill and then that will win you the game. Also in this late stage, the players are fantastic and it only takes one little mistake to be behind in this game. And yet again, another great save from the Brazil keeper. It's a big factor as well in this game. When you go through on goal, sometimes the keepers are absolutely heroes. And then you just can't beat them. And it's one of those games. And then the momentum goes against you. And you find out that you lose the game. Out of the keepers, who would you say is better? Out of the keepers? Yeah. I would have said Julio Cesar a year ago. But now I would have to say Casillas. And as we just said, uh, there was a great uh, through ball. Oh, no. Wow, what a mistake there by Tom. God knows what he was doing there. He just let the ball roll from the goalkeeper's feet. 
Chrissy B comes in and takes the ball and scores there, making it 4-3 to Chris Bullard in this second game of the semi first semi-final. It's, that was a weird one. Yeah, Chris Bullard 100% concentrated, saw the keeper had a bad touch and then he was there to tackle it off him and then obviously tap it in. And we were just talking about who's the better keeper and I said Cassias, well, I've eaten my words again. It is the commentator's curse uh, from any game that you see. We always say something and it just uh, messes up, of course. <laughs> Get that a lot. Whoa! Good chance there by Chris B, but it's well defended again. Out for the counter attack. And here we go with uh, Tom there with some skill dribbles, but no, into no effect. Chris has learned what he's going to do. And it's be an offside there. So, wow, all the, all the pressure now on Tom again. But we've seen Tom time and time again. He'll come back from one goal deficit. Yeah, uh, it's been like this both games as well. One player's gone down and then straight away, a few minutes later, maybe 10, the players come back. And this is how close the games, both games have been. And it just shows how good both players really are. And it might look easy to play when you're watching it on the computer, but if you get yourself down here and play against the pros, then you'll just see how good they are. There we go, we go with Chris Abir to a, in a beautiful finish for the fifth goal. 5-3 for Chris Bullard now. What a beautiful uh, finesse shot there by uh, Chris. Yeah, that was a great goal. Took it on Alexandra Pato's weaker foot, which made the finish even better. Great finesse shot into the top corner. And it's given him a two-goal lead, a bit of a comfort cushion, you could say. Still a lot of time left in the game, but if he sees this out, then we're into the third and final game. Now we'll see uh, Tom just waiting for a cross there. It was greatly defended by Chris. Chris was on the counter-attack now. He'll pass it through the centre. He's good, still going through the centre, he won't go through the wigs, he's running through the centre as best he can, oh! And he'll do a nice little chip, chipper pass, but it, to no effect, again, it's a, a foul pass there. Tom Stokes will go on the counter-attack once more. And this looks like to be, it could be another goal for Tom, here we go, here's a power shot by uh, Benzema there for Tom Stokes, so 5-4 the score. Yeah, that was a, a good goal, good skill dribbling with Ronaldo and played it over the top and use Benzema's pace. This is an amazing game, 5-4 already, and there's still 20 minutes left of the game. And it just shows how nervous players can get and then how open the game can be. We've just seen as well, uh, Tom Stokes has gone into ultra-attacking mode, whereas uh, Chris B has switched into defensive mode. So really, possibly ultra-defending might be needed, but here we go with Ronaldo on the attack. He'll go for the shot. Oh, brilliant save there by uh, Chris's... Uh, no, is that, I thought it was a save there. No. Just went straight into the side netting, opted for a power shot again, but missed it. And we saw this in the first game as well. Tom Stokes having to go to ultra attacking to get a goal and maybe force it into extra time or win it before. But Chris has also changed his tactics and he's defending really well. And Tom's going to find it hard to break him down. So here we go. I mean, the best thing for Chris to do now is probably a possession game. But he, he doesn't see possession. as He wants to go for that win. He wants to get more goals on top of what he's got right now. 5-4 to score in this second game of the first semi-final between Tom Stokes and Chrissy B. And then uh, now Tom Stokes will be... What the hell are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. Cr Cr Tom Stokes, sorry. Tom Stokes just had an amazing run there, but he seems to just do a skill dribble. Yeah, he likes to do skill dribble and then he likes to do those extra skills to maybe show off or maybe just try and beat a player with a bit of skill. But two defenders, they're all a mistake from Bullard. And then Tom equalises from that mistake. And that's all it takes, one mistake, and you're back in the game. And Bullard being 5-3 up, it's now 5-5. Five, five yeah, again, Chris, now you thought Tom was giving uh, away goals. Now Chris is giving away goals. The nerves are both on his players, even though you don't see it in their faces. You can, they're probably thinking about it. It's probably in their, in their muscles, in their body right now. But uh, nevertheless, they'll still keep going with only 80, with 83 minutes gone on the FIFA clock. Coming up to six minutes left now. And Chris has the possession. He's going to go for the shot. He'll go for the shot. And he gets the goal. Brilliant goal there by Chris. Yeah, great goal by Chris. Using a bit of possession and then finding a gap. And blasts it with Kaka in the inside of the post. And makes it 6-5 to him. There's obviously five minutes left. And this game has been crazy. But with Chris's defence, it looks like he might be able to see it out and take it into a third game. I was just see there now. Tom Stokes has gone into ultra attacking mode once more. But here we go, he's doing a lot of skill dribbles. He'll get the shot off. Oh, and it is a save, I believe. No, it's actually past the post. Once more, so. Oh, Tom looks like he's getting a bit nervous now. 
Three minutes left on the clock. This is all for Chris to lose right now at, at the moment. Yeah, he just has to defend for a few more minutes. Tom had the chance right there, but it fell to the wrong player who can't really finish, which is Sammy Kadira, more of a defensive player. And we see Chris now on the counter attack, plays it down the line to Kaka. But Sergio Ramos has that energy which gets him there first, but a loose pass. And Chris has got it back again. Now he's got the throw in and can just take his time, run down the clock a bit more. We are in the 90th minute and may be able to see him to the third game. Here we go. So, Chris, we are into stoppage time right now. Chris has the advantage at the moment. It's 6 5. Ball has been kicked all the way back down. And that is game over for. Uh, well, that is game over for game two. Chrissy B will take game two, and we are now going to the the next the last game of the series whoever wins this now will actually proceed to the grand final but is it going to be Chris B is it going to be Tom Stokes uh, stick around ladies and gentlemen Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final game in the first semi-final between Chrissy B and Tom Stokes. Uh, I am of course R2K from Team Dinkters, alongside me is Dimitri Anastasiu, who will be playing in the second semi-final straight after this uh, first semi-final against Adam Winster. And wow Dimitri, what a cracking second game that was. Yeah, 6-5, you don't get many of those. Um, it's just an open game to be honest. Most people would think it would be tight, maybe 1-0, 2-0, 2-1 because it's a semi-final and players are going to defend but it's just open and then um, the group stages were clo closer, like you got, you was getting 1-0, 2-0 in the group stages and then the semi-final there's flaws and gaps in the defences and then both players are exploiting them and it's obviously both high scoring game. As we come back to the game now, so of course it's, it's a crazy as Dimitri has just said and no come back to this game. Looks like Tom will go down the wings now. He's trying to get past Ronaldo. Great defence there by uh, Chrissy B there. Chrissy B will look like to go down the wings himself. No. Yes, maybe. He'll go through the centre and through the wings. So he'll look to get that cross in. He tries to get it over. But no, great defence again once by Tom Stokes. He looks, it's very cagey. And now Tom Stokes on the counter attack with Ronaldo. Ronaldo will try to speed ahead as quickly as he can. Goes for the power shot. And it flies over. Bloody hell. Ne <laughs> Back and forth right now. Yeah, but I nearly threw on goal, but Ramos defended it well. And then Tom Stokes on the counter attack. And with Ronaldo's pace, no defender in the world can catch him, not even on this game. And he was through on goal, another power shot, but it's gone over the bar and still remains nil nil after 13 minutes into the game. As you see now, Chris will pull it down the side right now. Tries to get, probably will try to get across in. No! Oh, he's tried to get into another player, but will get an offside call. Uh, probably a great play there by Tom, trying to put the put Chris's player offside. Tom will shoot a long ball straight from the free kick. He'll go to run out to Ozil. Sorry, he'll get into Benzema right now. He'll look to pass to Ronaldo. He passes to Ronaldo. Oh, it's a it's a falling header backwards. Yeah, he was walking backwards, and that was yet again great defending from Chris, forcing him to cross the ball. He had no other options, and then. A weak head into the keeper's arms. Now we've got Chris on the attack, playing one twos, trying to open up the defence, which he has done. Oh, but and he's got the loose ball, plays it over the top, and a good header back to the keeper. Tom has possession again, and he's played it upfield, but it's gone out for a throw in and a bit of a poor goal kick. In the first two games, we saw both players score goals in under 10 minutes. Now we've gone to the 20th minute, and there's no goals at all. Yeah. That's when the games are open and could really afford to make mistakes because maybe that was the first and second game. But now we're in the last game and this is for a place in the final. Both players are keeping it tight, not taking too many chances. And one person is just waiting for a mistake against their opponent to grab a goal. So Tom has possession. He does a skill dribble with Ronaldo. Goes with Benzema. Oh, well defended. About six, six Brazilians back. 
in defence. Through ball to Alexander Pato. Pato is on the stretch. He's going to go for the shot. He should go for the shot. And he goes for the shot and he gets the goal. He gets the goal that he wanted. Chris Bullard back in control of this game. Yeah, 1-0 to Chris Bullard. That was a great run by Pato. Tom went in for the tackle, but he knocked it round him. The keeper's come out and he's just slid it under him. And that was also a great finish. And Pato's weaker foot again. And Chris is showing that he's a really good finisher. And when he gets a chance, it's most likely to end up in the back of the net. Tom on the attack now. Ronaldo, ooh, just wide. And still 1-0 to Chris Bullard. It's a great response there by Tom. Just missing the goal by inches, unfortunately. But uh, again, ball will be in uh, favour of Chris Bullard as he takes the goal kick. He will get past uh, down the wings right now. He goes down. He's still going down with Neymar. He passes to his uh, player, Kaka. Will go for the cross, perhaps. No, he waits for Neymar. Goes for the shot. Great save there by Tom's keeper. And Tom will get it out. Yeah, that was fantastic play by Bullard. Running down the line, beating a few players. And then instead of crossing it, which everyone thought he was going to do, he cut it back with a pass, opened it up, and it was one on one, but great save by the keeper, and that's kept Tom closely in this game. But still a lot of time left for Chris to extend his lead or Tom to grab an equaliser. 32 minutes into FIFA time right now. Tom down one goal to nil. This is the third best of th this is the third game at the best of three. Uh, in the se first semi-final between Chris Bullard and Tom Stokes. I'm, of course, R2K from Team Dictus commentating along with Dimitri Anastasiou on this game. I hope you're enjoying it right now because it is, to be honest, it's just insane right now. 11-goal thriller in the second game, a penalty shootout in the first game. I mean, what more can you ask for for a semi-final? That's, uh, that's what everyone wanted, amazing goals. They didn't want to see a new new game. They wanted to see plenty of goals, and that's what they've been given. But now this game, the pace has gone down a bit. Both players being very, very careful because this is for a place in the final and Chris Bullard seems to have that extra experience. He's been in the FIFA scene for a very long time and it just shows that experience can pay off and it's just shown here that he's 1-0 up. Of course, uh, Chris Bullard was the uh, FIFA Interactive World Cup champion in 2006. I mean, of course, it was on a different FIFA game back then, but still, he, he shows that he's had the experience of tournament play and uh, competitiveness there. He's just gone for a header though in that cross and it was way, way, way wide. Yeah, you're talking about Chris's FIWC win. Although that was on a different game, that is still a very hard competition to win. Only 24 players qualify and that's some of the best players that qualify. So that is a massive achievement for Chris there. And that adds to his list of achievements and how much experience he's got. And it's just showing Tom is getting frustrated, trying to find a way through. But yet again, Chris defending brilliantly and this remains 1-0. Not to mention as well, Tom Stokes as well. He's been a champion as well. He's been a, a champion at the last I-Series. He is actually defending champion for this I-Series. So, I mean, he's fighting to, for that championship to defend. But again, at this rate, he is uh, in, the losing, in the losing seat right now. If Chris holds it like this, I mean, we're, we're coming up to the end of the first half. Chris will try to get a through ball over the top, but will be well defended. Uh, by Tom right now. It looks like we're going to have the referee blow for the first half shortly. Oh, he's going to try to get that pass through. Passes to Chris is dead. Chris will take the ball. He will pass it down to the wing. Trying to go through the centre. Trying to bring all the players through the centre. Nope, never mind. Instead of that, the referee decides to blow the whistle for the first half. Chris Bullard is ahead 1-0 in the first half. Yeah, it's been a very even game. Been a tight, tight first half in the last game. Not like with the other games where he was getting three, four goals a half. This is 1-0 and Tom going for a change of formation. 4-1-2-1-2, two, 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 which is much more attacking. You've got a, a right mid, a left mid, a centre attacking mid. But let me point out he's gone for 4-1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, number two, which uh, makes it very narrow. So if Chris attacks on the wings, he's going to find that he's got a lot of space there. So it looks like, from what Dimitri said, from what I understand as well, it's going to be more central central play yeah. from Chris Bullard rather than wings. Of course, though, Tom has gone down the wings so much during this game, uh, during this whole semi-final, really, and the whole tournament. So I think right now he wants to secure that because, really, Rail have got no sort of heavy, hard headers, yeah. he 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 people who can head the ball into the goal. Yeah. He's not worrying about the wings. He's worrying about that central. Uh, he wants to control the midfield and... Obviously, there's only really one player in Real Madrid. 
other than the defenders that can head her and that's Ronaldo but you can't always run on, rely on him and you have to have other players so he's chosen the formation which helps him attack down the middle gonna try and control the game a bit more you see him trying to do the skill dribble there but yet again Chris Bullard reading it and defending brilliantly playing it out wide to Neymar and this is the space that we were talking about in the wings Ooh, nearly cut back but great interception so we are into the second half of the game three and Tom Stokes has just gained back possession on the counter attack onto Chris Bullard he will pass out out to Cristiano Ronaldo onto the wing he'll probably try and get a cross no he'll fake it he'll go through the center oh it's a what oh that's a bad foul there and this gives a great opportunity for Tom to get a goal I've seen a lot of people pick Ozil for uh Oh, I was just about to explain, but it's dead. I don't need to explain because Tom Stokes has actually equalised one all. Yeah, he picked, it was Ronaldo at first to take the free kick, but he changed it to Ozil, which people might think is weird. Why is he taking it? But in fact, he laid off the ball to Ronaldo, found himself in a lot of space, and obviously done a power shot with Ronaldo, which was probably 95% going to go in every single time he shoots from that angle, and he's equalised one one. So of course, here we go, Tom has just got a confidence booster back in to this game, one all at the moment, he'll try and get past, oh, bear a second. Oh, thank God for that. Right, uh, sorry about that. It was the announcements. We couldn't really talk over the announcements because it's just too loud as it is. If you just joined us, this is the third game of the best of three between Chris Bullard and Tom Stokes. Uh, Tom Stokes just came back with a second half goal to equalise one all. So, right now, it's going to go, it looks like it can go into uh, extra time. But with these two, you never know how cagey it could be. As Tom Stokes will actually try and go for the attack, but gets countered by Chris Bullard. And Chris Bullard will actually give the ball away to Tom Stokes. Now again, it's, it's, oh, no, it's a bad slide there from, uh, from Tom, from Chrissy Boy, from Chrissy B, sorry. Tom Stokes will take advantage and he will go 2-1 up. Yeah, as soon as he gave the ball away, Tom went for his famous skill dribble. And then as soon as he done that, Chris saw the danger and tried to take him out. But the pace of Ronaldo, no one really catches him after that skill dribble and he was through on goal and luckily he finished it this time and now he's 2-1 in front and he has to see this out and if, can he do what Chris Bullard couldn't or none of them could to be honest in the first and second game for those of you who didn't see it 3-3 three, three in the first game and Tom won on penalties and then 6-5 to Chris Bullard in the second game in 90 minutes no extra time there so a crazy game there back and forth Oh, an amazing chance there for Chris Buller, but somehow Kaka has missed it, and no one knows how. So, of course, we are 72 minutes into FIFA time right now. Advantage Tom Stokes to proceed to the grand final, but anything can happen in FIFA. As Tom Stokes will go down to the wings, he will get across it onto Ronaldo. Great defence there by Chris. He will get the ball out uh, for a counter-attack, hopefully. No! He actually gets tackled by Tom's uh, player there. A lot, too much time wasting there by uh, Chris as he actually, actually lose the ball to Tom. Tom will go down the wings, try to cross it in perhaps. He'll go for the cross. Benzema on the header, no. Great defence there by Chris Bullard. And Chris now on the counter-attack. Of course, Tom Stokes did just change into ultra-defensive uh, formation. Sorry, ultra-defensive, what is it? The, um well, sometimes it can and can work out, but what ultra-defensive does, it just makes every single player sit back not really attack so that they're helping out in the defense and then maybe get on the counter attack and as you've just seen there Stokes with his ultra defensive playing on the counter attack and he found the way through goal and Benzema finished it and now Chris Bullard on the change of formation 3-4-1-2 that means there's a lot of attacking but because there's three at the back it's going to be open on the wings because it's a uh, center back left center back right center back so 
if Tom chooses to attack down the wings instead of the middle like he has been doing, he'll find that he has the space now on the wings. So now it's do or die now. Chris needs to score two goals to get back in this game. Otherwise, he will go drop down into the third place playoff. Whereas Tom will be uh, into the grand finals. And here we go. Whoa. As I was just as I saying that, Chris had a beautiful chance and just goes past the right post of past the right uh, post of Casillas there. So a bit of luck there for Tom as it, it remains 3-1. Yeah, Chris nearly got straight back in the game, but there you see that's FIFA for you. Some of the players finish the hardest chances and then they miss the easiest chances. That's how the game goes. And luckily for Tom, Chris Bullard missed a good chance and he stayed two goals in front with not that much time remaining, just over five minutes. Indeed, just over five minutes with Tom having a corner as he'll whip the corner in. Chris will get it out, beautiful defensive there. He will come out on the counter attack now. Can Chris gain back a goal? He sends a through ball over the top to Hulk, who's on the wing now. He'll try and cross the, will he cross that ball? No, he's just playing around at the moment. Oh, and it's a bad pass. It's a very bad pass to uh, Tom Stokes, who will capitalise on this uh, failed pass. Yeah, he tried to counter attack and he done it very well, but his players just couldn't run up and keep up with him. Now Tom with a chance, showing off with some skills. Looks like he's lost it, but he's still got the ball. And too many skills there. A, a bit of overconfidence there, thinking he's already gone through, but you have to wait until the final whistle. There might not be that much time left, but you have to still play to your full potential and see it out. Tom with another attack when the 90th minute plus one minute at the time it looks like Tom has reached the final so we are to stoppage time one minute of stoppage time in this game Tom Stokes with a 3-1 advantage in this third and final game that will probably be the last kick of the game as soon as he gets to the centre there you have it Tom Stokes proceeds to the grand final Chris Bullard will drop to uh, the third place playoff what an exciting semi-final we had there. That was fantastic. It left me breathless for the whole three games and it just separates the... That was a good game and Tom Stokes just about had it in him to reach the final, but Chris Bullard's an amazing opponent and credit goes out to him. Still third and fourth place to play off for a bit of money. So there you have it. Tom Stokes proceeds to the grand final. He will play the winner of the second semi-final between Adam Winston and uh, Dimitri Anastasiou. Dimitri, it's great having you on the cast. Uh, best, best of luck in your semi-final. Thank you, and it was good commentating with you. Cheers. Right, we are going to get ready. So we'll be back shortly with the next game between Adam Winston and Dimitri Anastasiou. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 